So welcome to another JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create and use functions and if you don't know what a function is it's pretty much a way of writing code once and then being able to use it as many times as you want wherever you want in the same code so uh, for example in websites that I've created I've made a function for uh, like display ad or something and what that function will do is display like an advert uh, so basically it will shorten the code of like the Google AdSense ads that you get so normally you get like 10 lines of code for your ad but instead I just had to do like get ad or something like that uh, you can make a function to add up certain numbers or a function that will display a message box and that is what I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial so what you need to do is do function and then give it a name after a space so function uh, function display message display msg and then we're going to do brackets because you can put arguments in this uh, or parameters in and then we're going to do curly brackets then here is what's going to happen so in here what we're going to do is document dot as you know let's do an alert alert and then in here we're going to just say hello and then we're going to do console.log user was greeted just like that now this console.log isn't necessary that's just so that we can see it in the console now if I run this oh, what have I just done um, if, I done, if I run this launching Chrome nothing happens because nothing's going on if I go into my JavaScript console nothing happens so to make something happen what we need to do is call this function so display msg just like that that is all you have to do to display this message so if I launch in Chrome you see hello so what we can do is if we go back into Notepad++ uh, we could do this loads of times if we wanted to so we could launch a Chrome again hello hello you, you see it says prevent this page from creating additional dialogues this is just something that um, Google Chrome does just to protect you so if there's an infinite loop of dialogues then it will protect you from that let's just keep going through that so some sites like malicious kind of sites they'll keep on repeating uh, they'll make like an infinite while loop of message boxes and what this means is that the page is impossible to close so they use maliciously so you have to go into task manager and then close it but Google Chrome is ha just has like a security feature on it so anyway that's a tutorial on functions by the way you could use these anywhere in this page if you wanted to so 7000 lines down in your site you could use it if your site has 7000 lines so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial